Hello everyone. Today we have Hari with us who has scored AIR 28 in Geomatics Engineering. And let's know from him how did he prepare, what are the things he can tell you about. So that will be helpful in your preparation. So hello Hari and congratulations Hi. for your uh, great rank. So uh, tell us in brief about yourself and then you can tell about the preparation. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi, everyone. And uh, I have done my uh, BTEC in uh, Geoinformatics from uh, College of Engineering GT and INS Chennai. Uh, basically, I'm from uh, Urumalpet, a small town in uh, Tamil Nadu, near Coimbatore. So uh, I, I am 2017 passed out. So after that, uh, due to some uh, situations, I was uh, forced to go to some IT software company and I worked there for four years. And uh, after four years, I thought that it's not my, like I didn't uh, have any interest in that. So I quit the job and uh, I I started a small business in my hometown. Apparently, I also uh, started, uh, also worked for an IT company. So among this, with, along with these two, I, uh, like since the geomatics it was the this is was this is, a, this is the first time geomatics is coming uh, like uh, I thought of giving this paper so that I, I I can know if there is any possibilities or opportunities I can get after this exam so I started preparing for geomatics exam along with my business and my uh, job. Okay, so uh, what I mean what is your business? I would like to know about that also. I think yeah. a lot of students would find it useful. Yeah, actually, like um, it is, it is like a tire to uh, town in Tamil Nadu near Coimbatore, and my family is running a small uh, fancy store, and uh, we thought of expanding it to a big, bigger scale. So we started a, a showroom kind of thing, gift and toy showroom kind of thing, okay. uh, adjacent to our uh, small store. Okay. So, so I, 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 I literally like I kept my laptop in my store and I was working for a job and apparently I was uh, taking care of my store and uh, along with that I was doing preparations for the gate. Okay and you have a nice work experience also so can you tell us a little more about what was that like what were you working right out after the college? Yeah actually like after the college uh, unfortunately I didn't get any jobs regarding the uh, geomatics uh, field Okay. So I, I like, but luckily I got some, uh, uh, some job in an IT company, like it is a banking software development company. And uh, I was literally doing some uh, developments and uh, uh, other stuff you know, related to general IT, IT and banking. Okay. okay. And uh, coming back to the gate preparation part. So uh, what were your plans? Like when you got to know a geomatics paper is uh, there in this year? So how did you prepare? How did you start? And uh, how did you make that plan? And like, what are the brief points you would like to tell students yeah. how that will be helpful? Uh, so basically, like since right from my college days, I was interested to go for some government organizations to work for uh, like, like research in organizations like that. But unfortunately, during that time, we don't have any gate or uh, provisions for geomatic students to go into the uh, like. Yeah. government organizations like uh, we tried many uh, possibilities but uh, nothing worked out uh, but since uh, now it came i uh, thought like okay let me give a try since and also it is a first thing and uh, many of them don't know how, how to prepare it so i yeah. took it as a chance of like the competition will be comparatively less uh, when compared yeah. to uh, successive years so that we can take it as a chance now mm -hmm. and we can uh, crack it like today but the preparation part was somewhat hectic because balancing the other two stuffs by business and job and along with that preparing for a gate was a quite tricky like a hectic one and also I didn't find much time to prepare literally like uh, I used to study for one hour or one uh, one and a half hours every day that's the only time I get for preparing okay. most of the time I uh, used to like um, like during the exams also like um, and what I studied uh, in my college days helped me uh, a lot. So basically what I would tell, like to say is be clear with the concepts. That is the very important key for preparing the gate because as far as uh, time is concerned in the exam, we have ample time for writing the exam. So if you are clear with the concepts, I think we can crack it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I would like to know a little more, like uh, when did you start the preparation and 
how uh, like uh, because you were managing these things on the side yeah. so what helped you or like what you could do differently if you think so uh, tell a little more about that yeah actually like uh, since uh, everyone is aware this is the first time this paper is coming so we don't literally know how the question paper would be just we got only one model question paper from the gate uh, like gate uh, organization institution yeah. i just uh, liars with the syllabus i just took the syllabus and uh, and like um, since it was after i completed my graduation and it was nearly 5 years i don't have any of my study materials which i uh, collected in my college days everything was lost so I, I i just used the phd material as a study material and uh, also i liased the syllabus and i took each topic and uh, referred these materials and i also referred other youtube videos and i just prepared a self material by myself mm. along with that i prepared a read a corner for formulas and other kind of, kind of stuff and uh, last few like literally like i uh, as i said no like one to one and a half hours is the maximum preparation time that i can uh, i got for uh, preparing every day that also i can sometimes if i have work uh, work uh, heavy work in job or uh, mm -hmm. business i can't spend the time also mm -hmm. so preparation time was very very less and uh, i started preparation around september okay okay so from then if, if you were giving like one one and a half hour as many on and as most of the days i guess i think uh, that would have helped and uh, yeah then uh, uh, like for the last one month what do you think uh, i mean students who are preparing so how they should approach what were you spending most time in were you reading more new things or you were revising or like no, how are you writing? like i think this is the place where i thought smartly or many people are losing like till december i prepared after december i stopped all my preparation i just revised what i prepared hmm. i didn't go for any new stuff i did i just prepared I revised and i just um go gone through thorough thorough and well with the formulas formulas mm. and other like uh, small small things where we will do mistake big things we will be uh, remembering easily but uh, very small places we will be missing our marks and chances yeah. so last last one month i was just only revising the portions mm. because uh, like uh, it's been five years uh, i can't uh, sometimes it's very difficult for me to remember stuff so i just revised and uh, kept it prepared Hmm. and uh, did you give tests and like did it help you that part in, in yeah actually uh, like uh, yeah i got some around 10 test series in uh, apcd so oh. what, only i only those 10 papers i gave and uh, it was good uh, like i since this was my very first experience in gate i uh, i got some experience of uh, uh, how to at, uh, approach the exams like uh, even after this uh, the series that i gave kept on there is something called uh, msq till that yeah. time i don't know what is msq i'm uh, only aware of mcq yeah, yeah. so after this only i'm aware of what is mm. msq mm. yeah i think that helps in understanding the actual ed exam atmosphere and helps you in revision also yeah. so um, i think that's i mean uh, these are the main things Apart from that, I would also like to know, like, what do you think, uh, seeing the paper and attempting it, what, uh, what are the more, uh, most important or relatively more important topics in geomatics and uh, as you have studied it in your engineering also. So uh, what are the more practical and also from the exam point of view, more important topics? Uh, okay, as everyone aware, geomatics is an interdisciplinary course. Like it's not like we are depending on one particular subject. We have survey, GIS, remote sensing, photogrammetry, blah blah blah. Like it's a very diversified topic. So preparation wise, you should be clear with the concepts. And uh, in this time, I would uh, like to thank my mom. Like she was, uh, she was the one who trained me in school days how to uh, prepare for exams. So that helped me to like. It's not like uh, everyone prepares, but uh, there is some uh, logic of preparing, how to prepare and how to under understand the concepts. So yeah. I use those techniques and uh, I try to remember keywords and uh, small, small things. And I exam point of view, exam was quite tricky. Like uh, how to say it? The uh, questions was well known, but there were some small, small words that may, uh, that can change the answers. Mm -hmm. Such kind of questions uh, we got many, many. Mm -hmm. So those places we should be very careful and uh, for in exam point of view when you go for example 
we should not think of any of uh, any other stuff like uh, score or rank or yeah. anything we just want to read the uh, question properly hmm. the see simple is was can uh, change the answers yeah that's what I, that i uh, uh, like that i recognize from this exam yeah. you should be very clear with the words which is asked in the question hmm. there is a lot of stress also with a lot of students when they are sitting in the exam hall so yeah. uh, that stress also takes place i mean plays an important role so what do you think like that can be helpful in such situations yeah obviously like uh, everyone will be having their own stress maybe their personal or financial maybe any of any of their reasons but they will be having stress and uh, i will uh, literally try to say this at least for a three hours term of the exam forget all the stress and just concentrate on the questions mm. like at least for the three hours yeah, yeah. don't say uh, completely come out of the stress but at mm. least for the three hours you forget all the stuff write the exam with the whole complete um, concentration so that we can crack it yeah yeah that is nice so uh... apart i mean after this so what do you think you want to do with this score what uh, what are your future plans yeah, actually this is some what uh, ambiguity uh, like uh, ambiguity question like uh, since uh, nobody knows what what is the scope of this score uh, we are mm-hmm. still waiting for the announcements to come so that what can be done with this score like that way mm-hmm. but i would like to do something uh, like some come uh, research organizations or government institutions where uh, basically i would i am uh, fond of teaching and uh, like such kind so if i get something which is uh, related to such fields uh, i would be uh, happy to take it up so i mean in general like let's say uh, there will be uh, higher education opportunities i am tech phd and one side you uh, like there might be some psus that may open uh, for uh, like your job so what what are you i mean considering these two options we don't know what exactly will happen but what but literally i like i uh, at this situation i am not uh, ready to take up a uh, higher studies directly maybe after go taking some taking up some jobs maybe after some uh, years i can go see higher studies but now i am not ready for higher studies okay yeah so i think that's it from my side congratulations again for your great rank and i think this call would be helpful for students and any last word of advice if you have for the students uh, last word of advising is like uh, i would like to say grade is not like what you prepare for last six months it is like what you study for four years in your college yeah so be clear with the concepts like since it is not like uh, other I, i don't say it's other competitive exams where you prepare history or geography and you write this is what this is like what you study in a college you are just preparing and you are writing here so yeah. you just be clear with the concepts of what you study in a college that will be that that will only help in uh, cracking the exams yeah and and if the students can uh take these decisions little early in their career when they are in second year third year and try to focus from there i think that that can yeah, save a lot like, of time uh, in my field. situation now i am around the age 27 so if i got this uh, geomatics paper when i was in second year of college or even if i come out after immediately when i left the college mm-hmm. that time the stress level for me would be far better less yeah now the pressure around me was very high so yeah. the students have to uh, think and think wisely and they want to start preparations at the yeah as you go um, like as the age increases the responsibilities yeah. are more and you have to think about a lot of things so i think that is a great take away for everyone to make you great use of their uh, college time because you really don't have any other problems you Actually, you are... that is the only time in our life where we will be very free and we will be stress free yeah the time we can yeah. utilize so i think this would be a great lesson for our students and i hope they make use of it so all the best for your future and thank you for this call thank you